All right, it's Dave here, and we are going to be cooking some bolognese sauce today. And you've seen us cook this before, but you've never seen uh, us cook it in our new kitchen. So this is our new place here. Thought I'd just give you a quick tour. Here's some of the stuff we're going to be using: some organic diced tomatoes and organic ground beef. We'll talk about all that stuff later. There's the rest of the kitchen. There's my tripod. There's our living room. It's football season, and I'm so thrilled that it's football season. You don't even know. Uh, little sort of office that I have set up over there, uh, which brings me play around here. We'll go around here and look at it. So there's my little office. There's the ocean. There it is. You can almost see the you can see the tip of Point Loma way out there. We're in uh, Coronado, California. For those of you who don't know that, um, just outside of downtown San Diego, there's Glorieta Bay, and that is downtown San Diego. You see in the distance. All right, enough about that, let's get to work. All right guys, exceptionally simple recipe. I'll show you kind of the steps as we go through it, but let me get, tell you what I'm gonna do. Take this sauce pot here, and I'm gonna brown some ground beef. Again, this is Organic Ranchers. I think we got this from Costco. Um, pretty good stuff, I like to get grass fed. Uh, Costco doesn't have that very often, um, so organic becomes the next uh, best alternative. I do think that's important. I think eating organic is um, is an important thing to do, and there's a lot of really good reasons to do that. I'm uh, gonna break, gonna just brown that with a little bit of garlic, some olive oil. Pretty simple first step there. Brown the meat. Then take these diced tomatoes. Uh, these are also from Costco. Again, organic diced tomatoes. Uh, put those in the blender and I puree them. Uh, my kids will not eat uh, spaghetti or any kind of bolognese sauce if it has little flakes of you know, spice and, and peppers and onions and stuff like that. They won't do with any of that. So we just go pretty basic, blend up um, some tomatoes. The last time Monica made it, she also did carrots, sort of boiled carrots um, and some other vegetables as well. Blended those into the sauce. The, the flavor was, was not quite as good as I think it is just with basic tomatoes, but you get all those extra vegetables and all that extra stuff in the sauce. So. That's nice when you're trying to get vegetables down the throats of little kids who don't really like them that much. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. Let's do it. Okay, here we are. Just uh, browning the meat, you can see. Uh, I use a lot of olive oil. I like olive oil a lot. I think it adds to the taste. Um, a lot of people are worried about the fat content in olive oil. Uh, the one I'm using is 14 grams of fat. Only two have sat are saturated. So, for those of you people who still think saturated fat is killing you. Olive oil is not that bad for you. Only two grams of saturated fat. Uh, very good for you. Okay, uh, here's the diced tomatoes that I've got set up. Put a little bit of uh, garlic in there as well. We'll blend that in. Again, trying to hide anything that the kids might not like. Now, here's one of the coolest things about our new condo. Look at this little cabinet here. You would never know that it's actually the home for the blender. Look at that, isn't that cool? All plugged in and everything. Put that there. Hit this here. And that's how the magic happens. All right, the simplicity continues. Now that the meat is all browned up, simply put it on low, add the sauce. Stir. And wait, <laughs> basically. I will, the longer you cook this, the better it is. It's always better the second day. Um, all the rules that you might think apply to sauce, apply to sauce. Uh, this stuff is really good. I will have it with pasta tonight. Um, normally I don't do that. Normally what I'll do is just steam some vegetables. Um, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, um, diced up squash, whatever. I, I, I love it over everything and I'll have it over the vegetables. Tomorrow, uh, doing uh, probably about 35 or 40 miles of the Great Western, which is a really, really hard bike ride, tons of climbs, so I get a little bit of pasta tonight, which will be nice. Um, so there you go, that's how you make it. Uh, it it'll thicken up and uh, it'll be really good, and if your kids are picky and they don't wanna see veggies in their food, olives and peppers and whatever else you might put into your spaghetti sauce, uh, give this a shot, and if you want to put something else in it, uh, do what Monica did and just blend it all in there. And if they can't see it, they'll eat it and they won't even know. 
All right, cool. Thanks.